streptococcal bacteria is probably more commonly known as a strep throat. It's a spiracle, uh, meaning uh, round or shaped like a ball, uh, gram-gram-shaped uh, bacteria. And it's uh, part of the lactic acid uh, bacteria group. Now, this is different from uh, Staphy coli, uh, where Staphy coli uh, has uh, grape-like uh, clusters of cells. Uh, strep or strep throat, uh, typically the bacteria is uh, chain-like or a uh, twisted chain uh, when it's shown under a, a petri dish. How is it uh, transmitted? Uh, well, uh, somebody comes into contact with an infected person and their nose has uh, saliva or uh, fluids and that person comes into contact with that and that's how it's uh, transmitted. Uh, it can also be transmitted in a uh, crowded environment uh, such as a dormitory, a school, a uh, shopping mall, anywhere where there's a lot of people. There can also be uh, contaminated food, uh, more particularly like uh, milk, for example. Now let's take a look at uh, signs and symptoms. Uh, first off, there's a sore throat, uh, but it doesn't have any of the cold symptoms. Uh, you know, no cough and stuff like that. No sneezing. Uh, another symptom is uh, swallowing food uh, can be difficult, or trying to swallow anything uh, can be difficult uh, due to uh, pain. Then there's uh, the fever that's typically over 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if it's under that temperature, it could possibly be the result of a viral infection. Next, there's a uh, swollen lymph nodes, and it's typically on the neck, uh, similar to the picture we have right here. Another sign is uh, white or uh, yellow spots on the throat and the tonsils, uh, similar to the picture we have right here. And then, of course, we've already seen this picture, but there's uh, dark red spots on the throat. Another possibility is, uh, or another sign or symptom is uh, swollen uh, tonsils. Now, uh, keep in mind that this also could be the result of a viral infection. Uh, one thing to point out here is that uh, mononucleosis, uh, which is basically known as mono uh, for this typically common in t-shirt teenagers, has uh, similar uh, symptoms uh, to uh, strep throat. For uh, diagnosis, uh, one way to do it is to take a swab and stick it in the back of the throat and take a swab out of there and uh, stick it in a culture desk dish and uh, test that out uh, and if it looks something like this in the picture where you see these strains here uh, the strep strains uh, then it's definitely uh, strep throat uh, another way is to simply just uh, look for uh, signs and look at the signs and symptoms that we uh, covered earlier now the signs and symptoms are a little bit tricky with this uh, as far as uh, treatment is concerned uh, if it's uh, strep throat is untreated, it usually resolves itself within a, a few days in most cases. Now, uh, if you use antibiotics, uh, that can shorten that to uh, l less than or, or equal to around one day. Uh, some antibiotics, uh, like in the U.S., are uh, penicillin uh, 5 or penicillin V, and then there's uh, amoxicillin. Now, uh, one thing to note is that uh, the streptococcal uh, genus is comprised of over 50 species. Uh, that's what's been researched so far. And that may cause uh, other uh, things other than strep throat, uh, such as uh, uh, pink eye, uh, meningitis, uh, bacterial pneumonia, endocarditis, erysipelas and uh, necrotizing uh, vesitis. Uh, necrotizing is like a flesh-eating uh, type problem. Now, one of the 
point, uh, that's kind of made clear with this, with the genus has over 50 species. Most of these are harmless, uh, but this can become uh, a fairly, or the streptococcal uh, bacteria can become pretty complicated uh, to uh, classify. And if you look at uh, this classification here I found online, uh, you'll notice there's a, a lot of different uh, ways it can go, different uh, possibilities and stuff. But this is just to, to give you a, kind of an overview of the the bacteria there. And uh, that pretty much wraps up our video here. Uh, thank you for watching.